engine basically just pumping all of its exhaust and water into the boat. So I have to use the manual bilge pump here constantly while the engine is running in order to keep us from sinking. and welcome back to Sailing Lugares. Cheers, El Jefe. Cheers, my queen. So this is episode 12, part two of our adventure sailing down the California coast. Yes, in episode 11, we went from Ventura to Marina del Rey and then to Redondo Beach, where we ended up thinking that the boat was broken, but we ended up getting it fixed and continuing the journey. Yes, and on that journey, you earned yourself a little Salty Dog Merit Badge. My first Salty Dog Merit Badge. We love those. I sailed solo, single-handed the boat from King Harbor and Redondo Beach all the way around the peninsula to Long Beach. Not a very smart maneuver. I made a lot of mistakes, but we got it done. And let's talk about the issue of the mechanical problems we had. Yes, we're going to show you all the mechanical problems. We thought the boat was broken before. It was really broken this time. Our small exhaust leak turned into a huge exhaust leak, which nearly sank the boat. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. That would be bad. We'll get right to it. Okay, we're inside the boat here, and it is storming and raining outside. I don't know if you can see that, but it is cloud enveloped and raining down hard. Um, Charlotte got sick and so we sent her home via Uber and I'm staying with the boat. We got to get it moved tomorrow to a new slip. You know, it's paralyzed now with a bad engine. So, you know, we're sitting here in this wavy harbor. Uh, we were supposed to be a week going down the California coast and it all came to a crashing halt. I think what happened was we had this exhaust leak in the engine and uh, we might have gotten water in the cylinders, seawater no less, and the engine didn't work anymore, which is, you know, a killer. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. It's, uh, I think close to four in the morning. I woke up and um, suddenly figured out we may have a chance to get this engine started and get underway. Charlotte's gone home sick. I spent the night alone on the boat. Nice little lonely night, just me and the boat. And I had time to think about it and read about it. And I think there's a possibility we got water in the cylinder um, with all the exhaust water problems we were having. Now it's not turning over, but I got to get into the cylinders to dry them out. Some people have had luck drying them out and restarting the engine. Other people's the engine just seizes up. So you can see here, right over there is the exhaust pipe going around. It's damp and wet. And here's the spark plugs, four spark plugs. And I took the number four off. This is the most likely culprit. So more than likely what's going on is if I'm right, water was leaking through here and when I overstarted it, water could come through here, down this pipe and into here and get into the cylinder. And it wouldn't start after that, obviously, if there's water in the cylinder. So I got to get this spark plug wrench off. So way to do that is I got to get down to an auto parts store, get a spark plug wrench, get that off. See if I can figure out a way to dry out that uh, cylinder. Um, and maybe, just maybe, just maybe. Okay, we have solved the problem of our engine. We have left Redondo Harbor. Kind of wavy out here. Uh, not too many white caps. Uh, we're cooking along at four knots, uh, but it's going to pick up. So I'm hoping to make six knots. We have to make it to Long Beach before dark, and it's not quite noon yet. It's only about uh, a little 20 plus nautical miles. 
while. So, yeah, it's a little different being out here on your own. Um, made a few mistakes, but I didn't go in the water and I got the sails up. So we're good for right now. Okay, update, we've uh, rounded the peninsula that is Rancho Palos Verdes. It's over there. Uh, unfortunately, we're going uh, sort of downwind. The wind doesn't seem to be helping us much. The sails are flopping around. So that's not good when you're making, wanting to make time. And what made matters worse was one of those stupid red gas cans tipped over and dribbled gas out in the cockpit, and I didn't notice it. And I kept on smelling fumes. I was like, oh, it must be the exhaust leak from my boat. Ugh, got this, you know. Then I start feeling nauseated and pop of being in rough seas. Not good. I just wish the wind would kind of pick up a little bit. I need to make better time. Uh, but it is beautiful. It is beautiful. And then actually over there, I don't know if you can see that, that is uh, Catalina Island and Avalon over there. I did have to rig up what we call a preventer, which uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's attached to the boom. It's a line, a white line attached to the boom. After our crash jibe accident about a month ago, Peter told me I need to learn how to do that. So I did, and it prevents the boom from crumbing over unexpectedly. So that rope holds it back, because that boom, if you're sailing downwind like I am now, it's dangerous. It's just full on dangerous. So I'm glad I have the preventer there. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a downwind Hall. I may have to switch to a port tack eventually if I don't want to go downwind. Okay, so we got this ship in front of us. Uh, he's not getting out of my way, so I gotta cross to his stern. We are back in the boat. Um, there's a video yesterday showed us our engine was failing, our bitch bilge pump completely failed, so we had to use a manual bilge. That's like pretty close to sinking. So I'm back here. We did get it in the dock in a new slip. I paid for a week in the new slip. We are now going to attack this uh, exhaust system, which is throwing water everywhere. And we've got to get that undone and uh, disassembled. I ordered the new parts. They're coming in at noon. I had to pay for horrendous shipping. It doubled the cost of the parts to get them here. And we're going to put them in because the boat can't go anywhere if it's dumping water right inside the boat. And I'm going to have to replace the bilge and clean up the bilge. Anyway, uh, the bilge will come last. Let's fix the exhaust first 
I'll show you a picture of that, look, what that looks like, and we'll go from there. So here you can see the old gas pipe with the old connection. The temporary fix melted, and you can see the metal rings here. Uh, the hot gas just melted it. Here's the water inlet pipe that was rusted away. And here is the actual pipe when I finally got it off. Now comes a picture of the new pipe that I got on. You see it's all connected between the engine and the water lock muffler. Here is the picture of the dirty bilge with exhaust laden seawater in it before I cleaned it. Okay, and she lives. The Canoli Mia Lugares lives. I have rebuilt that uh, exhaust and this same waterway right here that we traversed the other day where I was pumping the bilge trying to escape sinking we're on the same waterway and the engine is performing marvelously